Hi guys, this is Max Headspace 9mm, and today I want to talk about one of the most misunderstood guns I've ever run across. I've been online to different blogs and chat rooms where people are talking about the question of what is the worst gun you have ever found. Well, this gun that I'm about to show you today always winds up on the list. In fact, it probably makes the top three worst guns of all time. Over and over again, I've seen people go on and on about how terrible this gun is. Well, the problem with that is I have one, and I absolutely love it. I think it's one of the best guns ever made. You curious about what it is? We'll wait right here, because today we're going to talk about it on Max Headspace 9mm. opinion, the most misunderstood firearm today is the Calico M100. This firearm looks more like a laser blaster than a gun, and that probably is part of the reason why a lot of people judge it so critically. It looks like a prop out of Star Wars. In fact, it actually was painted silver and used as a prop in the movie Spaceballs, which is a parody of Star Wars. And of course we know parodies are all about mockery and having fun, so that probably got this off to a pretty harsh start, I would guess. The truth of the matter is, as a 22 rifle, this is a very innovative gun. It has a lot of features that are very distinctive. Some people look at the features that are very innovative and distinctive and they say they're just weird, because they're different from other guns. But I really like them. It makes this gun a sure bet to be remembered as a very innovative and unusual firearm in firearms history. Some of the features that it has that are kind of interesting are this, this flash hider. Now, for a long time I assumed that this was just decorative, made to look like an AR-82 birdcage flash hider. Uh, but I got to looking at this really carefully. These slots in the top actually do go clear through to the barrel. And there are no slots on the bottom. These are just decorative down here. They don't serve a function. But I've noticed that when I shoot this, no matter how fast I pull the trigger, this barrel stays absolutely dead on. It doesn't jump the slightest bit. Now, it's 22, so it may actually not be serving much of a purpose. Maybe it would be staying on target even without this flash hider. But I'm pretty sure that the people at Calico would not put this on here if it didn't serve some kind of a purpose. Now, one of the most important features of this gun, and the reason I got it in the first place, it comes with a standard capacity of 100 rounds of 22 long rifle. And the magazine comes off just that easy. There's these two little squeeze clips right here. And this magazine, even though it looks like it's so easy it must be ready to fall out. It is absolutely steady. It's not going anywhere. So if you want to change mags, it is the easiest mag change you'll ever do. Loading this is incredibly easy as well. The rounds go right in here and you just push them down and they spiral back all the way to the back. So if we were to take an x-ray of this thing, what we'd basically find is the plastic case is on the outside. It has little windows in the top which show you your progress as the rounds travel backwards in the helix. Inside of that helix of 22 rounds is a spring. That is your tension spring which feeds this magazine into the gun. And then down the very, very center of that spring is a metal rod which holds this whole thing together and causes the pivots to turn around it. If you want to wind it, you just do that when you want to use it. You can leave it stored, unwound, and under no spring tension at all. And if you want to take the spring tension out, you just push that button and it comes out instantly. And that's all there is to this. It's one of the most innovative and interesting magazines I've ever found. It's very small. Considering it holds 100 rounds, it's pretty impressive. 
And when you want to load it in the gun, that's all you do. Just that simple. Now, I've heard people say that uh, this gun is not accurate because the rear leaf sight is mounted to the top of the magazine, and of course, since it's movable and replaceable, that couldn't possibly be accurate. But that's not right at all. I'm going to take the magazine out and show you that this is not true. The rear sight, the leaf with the notch in it, is in the metal frame of the gun. It is windage adjustable. There is a close-up of it. It's a very adjustable, easy to pick up sight, very high quality. And the front sight has a nice post and it is elevation adjustable. These are very rugged. This is all metal here. This isn't plastic or some kind of a cheap knockoff. This is a high quality, well-made piece of work. It has the, uh, the safety right here is a thumb safety. You can work it with your thumb. And let me show you the trigger. The trigger is my favorite thing about this gun. It is an absolutely incredible trigger. Now, it's unloaded, so I'm going to... All right, watch this. That's it. Just the tiniest little bit of travel and reset. It's, it's really an amazing trigger, which means it bump fires like a dream. And if I want a semi-auto fire, I can pull the trigger very, very rapidly and unleash bullets out of this thing so fast. It's faster than just about any other gun uh, to unload semi-auto by firing that I've ever found. It has a little trap door in the uh, pistol grip. So you can put, uh, I don't know, more bullets in there if you want to. And um, it's actually a cartridge system. So when you go to take it apart, if you want to clean the bolt and take out the trigger, the whole thing comes out as a unit. So it's really pretty simple that way. Cleaning is not that hard for this. Um, now, here's the interesting thing. This is often compared to a Ruger 1022. Ruger 1022 is probably the most popular 22 rifle in America. Well, there's a few things about this that I actually like a lot better than the Ruger 1022. If you want a 22 rifle that looks very traditional and you want your gun to look like a gun, then get a Ruger 1022. But if you want, if you don't really care that much about how things look and you want just something that works amazingly well, is incredibly fun, very compact, then get one of these. This gun, with a 100 round standard magazine, full of 22 long rifle, is the same weight as an empty Ruger 1022. And it's, it's smaller too. Now, you might be wondering, where is the stock on this thing? Well, that is what this is. It's foldable. And it looks terrible, I admit. It looks like something that is not comfortable. It looks like it's going to tear you up, but it's not bad at all. It puts everything right where you want it. It gives you a really good cheek weld, and it's very comfortable. And because of the lack of recoil with 22, it doesn't hurt to shoot with this metal buttstock on your, on your shoulder. And it folds up very easily when you're done. Just like that, out of the way. So um, all in all, I would say, if you have never fired a real Calico M100, you need to try it. Don't just make assumptions based on things you read on the internet or videos or anything like that. Now, the thing about this gun is, it is so easy to shoot and when you shoot it, because of its design, you are going to throw so much lead and go through so many rounds so quickly that it will foul up pretty quickly. Um, many, many times, usually when I take this out in a group, everybody wants to try it out. And in no time at all, we've completely emptied a 500 round box of 22 ammo. Well, of course, it's going to get dirty. 22 is very dirty. So it fouls and it'll start to hiccup and 
jam and do some things after a while, as any 22 semi-auto will. So let's be fair about this. This is requiring cleaning and maintenance like any other gun, but if you want to fire 100 rounds down range in less than a minute, this will easily do that. And uh, it's a whole lot of fun. Now this also comes in a pistol version. No butt stock, much shorter barrel. And I will tell you, it's kind of back heavy because of the fact that there's all this weight back here from the rounds. Uh, the balance of the gun changes as you shoot it because the rounds are traveling forward as they're used up. So it, it does change, and people who have the pistol version mention that to me. Um, you can easily shoot this like a pistol. You can hold this thing fairly steady and aim it just as if it were a pistol without using the buttstock at all. And you get a 16 inch barrel. So uh, if you want to do that, great. All around, I would say the Calico M100 is one of the funnest, best values in a 22 rifle carbine length that you're going to find. They still make them in Hillsboro, Oregon. You can get every part that you need for this gun. They make upgrade parts like quad rails and uh, mounts for optics. So you can do a lot with this. They have slings and all kinds of things custom made just for this gun. So this would be one of the last guns I would ever get rid of because it is really that much fun. It is always the most popular gun that I take uh, shooting with a the group. They all want to try it and everybody thinks it's a lot of fun. And every time I take it shooting, I have somebody offering me money for it. So judge for yourself. Don't just take what you hear on the internet. Try it out for yourself if you know somebody that has one and you too will probably be a believer in the Calico M100. Thanks for watching and have a good one.